is more than a goodbye This is never to another try No reason to wonder why I'll be obvious and you're the lie What's going on everyone? Nice to see you back on my channel. I hope you're all doing great. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Um, my name is Hannes Engel, if you did not know that already. I'm 17 years old and I've been taking photos for the last three years and uploaded them on Instagram ever since then. And today I would like to show you how I create one Instagram photo from the start to the end. So I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible because it's a whole lot to talk about. Uh, if we talk about how I take my Instagram photos, it's a long process till I have one photo. We are going to start with the gear, some of you might be excited about that. I'm going to share some things that I bring when I take photos, uh, where I go and how I take the photos or the shooting. And then in the end I'm going to show you a few things about editing and my new preset bag. I hope you're hyped about this video, I hope you will get something out of it and it will inspire you to take your own photos. So let's start! Okay, here's the first step of taking Instagram photos, the gear, something that excites a lot of people. Most of the time when I'm shooting I'm out in the mountains and I hike somewhere or I go with my e-bike. And therefore I want my kit to be as light as possible, which means I don't want to bring a lot of heavy stuff. And um, here is all my gear laid out. You can also find it in the description below if you would like to check it out. And um, so let's start with the main part. This is my camera that I use for every, every single photo and every single video, really everything. This is a pretty old camera, it's about 4 or 5 years old, it's the Nikon D5300. Uh, still a good camera, but I'm thinking about getting something else, we will see. And then I updated my lens last year, and this is the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 art lens. I'm very impressed with this lens. At the moment I'm using this Endurax um, vintage camera backpack that is sent me. Thanks for sending me this. I like it because it has this extra bag that you put into the main bag. Then lastly I bring extra batteries because if you're out there shooting and you don't have any battery that sucks. And I bring an extra SD card or two. Uh, and that's it. Um, that's what I bring if I go take Instagram photos. So let's leave now. I almost forgot to bring the jacket, I just can't leave without it, it's so cold outside, it's freezing cold. There are obviously some other things that I bring when I go outside to take photos like jacket, gloves. And water, I mean that's the most important thing ever, I always bring a glass of water. I'm excited to take photos now, but the problem is the weather. I haven't seen anything else than fog and rain for the last one or two weeks here. It's only raining, it's November weather. And I know you get the moody shot with that, but at some point when it doesn't stop raining and it's muddy all the time, then it sucks. So um, now we'll take the e-bike and ride into the forest and see if we find some cool, interesting shots. And we will see, maybe it starts to rain again. The second problem that I have is it's getting dark at like 5 p.m. Which I totally hate because of that I only have two hours left. But we will make the most out of these two hours. Let's leave now. Here you are. Ever since I started taking photos, I've been using an e-bike to get me into the mountains and into the forest. It's in my opinion one of the best ways of transportation if you don't have a car ready. Also if you have a car ready, I mean you can drive everywhere with it. In all forests and up to almost every mountain. And yeah, that's why I'm taking it also today. Out here, it's the moodiest weather it can possibly be. Uh, I drive for quite a while up here, all the way into the local forest, and it's like a thick layer of clouds and fog over there. And it even snowed. I don't know if you can see it here, it even snowed all the way down until there. I don't know how excited I should be about this. Uh, it's pretty cool for photos, but it's freezing cold. 
and it's getting dark in like an hour so I arrived at this waterfall that I've been to in another video in an old video I would like to get some shots over there I'm gonna leave my e-bike somewhere over there then I'm going to walk because that's more comfortable for taking photos when I go with the bike I have to stop all the time and that's not what I want to do when I'm out here so I'm gonna lock my e-bike now and then I will check out the waterfall and maybe get some cool photos So when you're trying to take photos for Instagram or trying to start an Instagram account it's important to know what you would like to share or which kind of photos you would like to post. In my case it's almost always been nature and landscapes a little bit. That's what I'm looking for when I come out here. Once you seriously start to take photos you kind of like view the world or the subject that you shoot with a different glass which means you wear these magic glasses and you see the spots um, in my case I'm looking for water everything that moves waterfalls lakes stuff like that to get reflection and to get moving objects I'm looking for fog a lot what I wanted you to leave with is when you start taking photos for Instagram pick something that you like and try to try to shoot that and try to built a unique grid with that. I will explain a few things later on about that. But yeah, that's what I do. You'll probably not see a picture of my cat on my Instagram, even though I don't have one. I see the winter coming over there. to get one last photo before I go home then. So over there is the waterfall and I would like to get close to the waterfall and take a photo with my action cam. Not like under the waterfall getting getting wet wouldn't feel nice today but I want to get the wide angle shot with the action cam. I will film it so you see how I do this. That's enough, that's definitely enough, I'm freezing, I got a little wet, but you know, I almost do everything for a photo. <laughs> okay, I'm done now with today's photo shoot, now we'll get my bike and drive home because I'm cold, it's about to get dark. And they got the photo that I wanted to get, so let's edit these bangers. Came back home, this was so cold driving with the bike all the way back home. I hate this time of the year. I would say now we have the first step of our Instagram photo done which is the actual shooting going out there searching for a spot searching for interesting subject and taking the photo uh, what I need to mention I shoot raw every single photo which you can set up in almost every camera uh, it allows you to be more creative and to get more out of your photo in the editing process and that's already the next keyword because till now we had the first part and now the second half of the Instagram photo is the actual editing and I feel like a lot of people just don't get it they don't get that you can edit a photo they take photos and don't edit them uh, if that's what some people like to do it's fine but if you want to make your photos look good then you will probably want to edit them I use Adobe Lightroom as you know which is by far the best editing software for photos it gives you all the different tools that you need. It's super easy, I learned it fast. By just trying a little bit and watching tutorials, it's not a very advanced editing software. To edit my photos in Instagram, I use presets in Lightroom. Uh, Lightroom presets are something like filters for your photos. They give your photos a certain look. And as you can imagine, I have my own presets that you can check out below. 
uh, you can download them and get the same or similar look as I do get with my photos and I've been working on this new preset bag for such a long time it's I would say just my new style of taking photos the new Instagram brownish greenish this kind of color I'm wearing the right sweater today the new preset bag is called tones of the forest which matches with my photos and because they're often taking forests so the new presets um, include 15 looks for your photos. They're mainly made for landscapes and nature, outdoor photos, stuff like that. But they can also be used in other photos. They give you a moody look for your photos, a vintage look also. I have a lot of brownish, uh, green tones as I said. And a few of them are super interesting in my opinion. And there's one preset that I use almost for every Instagram photo. I just apply the preset, tweak it a little bit and yeah. That's it. I will show you how I edit my photos with the presets now. And if you decide to download the preset back, I can say Namaste, thank you. Now we've talked enough, I will show you how I use these presets in Lightroom and walk you through my editing process. Now we are here on my Mac and we will start by opening up Lightroom. Here it is, Adobe Lightroom Classic. And here we have Lightroom. Here you can see the photos that I've taken today. Uh, there are not a lot of photos, they are quite underexposed as I just realized but anyway we can bring that up later. This is the first photo that we are going to look at, a photo that I took today out there of my bike because I have nothing to shoot and it's slightly underexposed as you can see, actually a lot underexposed but anyway that's no problem if you shoot in RAW. If you decide to download my presets there will be a file that shows you everything and how to import the presets into Lightroom. Once you have done these steps, uh, this folder appears in Lightroom called HE for Hannes Engel and it says Tones of the Forest. These are the presets. In here you find 15 different looks for your photos and by just hovering over them you already see how it's gonna look like. So you have a preview and I try to be as creative with the names. Look at that. Hipster, Vintage Brown, Trees, The Woods, Softy, Sapia, Roma, Kodak, Golden Hour, Forest Lake, Darkroom and Cold Fade. That are the presets, these 15 presets. We are going to start by just selecting these first presets. One click, we will just click on Cold Fade. Let's click. And then as you can see right away, this is not postable on Instagram. This won't get a lot of likes but that is no problem we will just bring the exposure up you can always tweak presets so uh, you go over here into the correction and then here it says exposure that's the first slider here and just click on it and drag it up all the way until you think it's good I would say somewhere like this it's fine and that's it if you look at the photo now you already see it looks pretty cool uh, we can test out another preset if you want. Let's say we test out the woods because it's taking the woods. So the woods still underexposed because the photo is underexposed. We will bring this up until here. I think it's fine. And you can see how easy this is. It's just amazing how easy this process actually is. A lot of people always imagine editing photos being very difficult. The second photo that I'm going to edit is this here. It's also underexposed just as the other one but we're going to try it anyway so let's go over here and I'm gonna choose sepia which would be a vintage look. So let's say sepia and right away it looks pretty cool but we are going to bring the exposure up just a little bit and it's done. I've just realized that I did not take a lot of cool photos today I did not have a lot of time and the weather was terrible. But here's the last one of today's photos that I'm going to edit. Uh, this photo of the waterfall. And I'm going to choose the wild forest preset for this one. And click. Here you have it. It already looks pretty cool, right? We could maybe bring it up a little bit. I underexposed everything today. I can I would like to show you another example because today's photos are just not that good. The conditions were bad. Uh, recently I've been out there with a friend of mine. You can see this photo here in the mountains and I took this photo of my friend taking a photo. <laughs> I would try to use a couple of different presets on this one photo. Let's say you try something different, dark room. This preset gives it a little bit of contrast, gives a little bit of grain. If you look at the before and after, it's such a difference by just doing this one click. And let's try another one, let's try Roma, one of my favorite presets. As you can see, totally different look again. 
looks pretty cool. Then I will show you one last preset called The Woods, which is one of my favorites from this collection. Uh, let's click on The Woods and it looks pretty cool as you can see. I use this preset for all of my Instagram photos. It's the editing style that I've developed in the last years and in the last months especially. And it's what I want to share with you. I feel like often people that are just starting out with taking photos have this misconception that editing photos is this long and difficult process, but in reality it's not very hard to edit a photo nowadays. There are so many different tutorials also on YouTube, I also have made a few in the past that show you how you can get a certain look for your photos and it just makes all the difference, it's half of the work that you when you take photos. Now I'm going to show you the last step which is exporting the photo for Instagram onto my phone. To export the photo I will go up here and I can crop it up here. Let's click here. Here I will select the ratio of 4 to 5 and that's gonna crop it and I'm gonna select the part that I like most which is this one, that's okay. The thing is you need to select 4 to 5 because Instagram uh, crops it anyway to 4 to 5 so you can select the part that you would like to have. The very last step in Lightroom is go up here, say file, say export. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, now that the photo is exported on my uh, desktop, I'm going to say share, airdrop, and I'm going to select my phone, <laughs> and Hannah Sengel, share with Hannah Sengel. And here, here we have it, here's the photo. And now the last thing is posting it on Instagram. I'm not going to show you how I do that, I can make another video about that, explaining which hashtags I use and why and when I upload and all that stuff. That was it, that was the journey of one Instagram photo. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something with it and got something out of it and maybe understand better now how this whole world of Instagram and photography works. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the video. If you do want to check out the preset bag, it's linked below, it's the first link. And if you do get it, thank you, I appreciate it. Goodbye, and I'll see you soon. See